Hello, hope you are doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to sell your own product on Shopify. For example, if you have a physical product that you would like to list on Shopify, or if you have digital products that you would like to list on Shopify, I will be showing you step by step how to do that. The first thing you will need to do is create an account on Shopify. To get started, I will leave a link in the description that you can click on and from there you'll be able to sign up for completely free as Shopify offers a plan that allows you to sign up for free for the first few days. So we're going to create our Shopify account. Then if you are selling physical products, you'll simply go over to the top left hand corner and select products. From here, you'll be able to list your first product by tapping on add product. After selecting add product, you could type in the product name. So for example, let's say we will be selling an iPhone. So I could type in iPhone right here, just for example sake. Then you could add in a description. The description will basically be you describing the product. So you want to add in a good description. And when it comes on to Shopify, you can also use their AI feature by tapping right where you see I'm hovering over on my screen, you could tap on generate text and you could use the Shopify AI to create a good description for you. Then you're going to tap on media right here and this is where you'll be able to upload a picture of the product that you're planning to sell. So you'll tap on upload new and let's say for example, I will just be using a thumbnail. So let's say this one. After adding the picture, you're going to scroll down and then from there you can see the category has automatically been generated. You can change the category to your liking. You can tap right there and you could search for a particular category. You can scroll down and you can add in the price. So for example, $100 and you could also add a compare at price. So this means that you could add a price that it will originally be selling for or where other persons are listing it for so persons will realize that you are selling it at a way more affordable price you can also choose whether you'll be charging tax on this product or not and you can add in the cost per item so for example if it was an item that you made for example an unmade item or so on or even an item that you purchase you could add in the cost per item right there so you'll be able to track your profit and scrolling down if you like to track quantity you can leave this as is and you're going to put in the amount that you have right where you see shop location so let's say we have 10 and you will scroll down if you would like to continue selling when out of stock you can select this and if it is not a physical product you'll untick this right here if it is a physical product, you can add in the weight of the product right here. And you can change it from kg to pound if you want. If you have more than one variant, you can add different color options and sizes right there. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on save. Now that you have selected save, if it is a physical product, the next thing you will need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and select settings in the bottom left hand corner. After selecting settings, what you want to do now, you're going to tap on payments right here. But before doing that, you will need to set up your shipping and delivery. So you're going to select shipping and delivery and you are going to automatically see where you have the rates right here. So you can tap on rates. Then you can scroll down and you can set the different rates, whether for local delivery or for international delivery. I've done videos going in depth on how to set up shipping and delivery so you can do you can watch that video. You can also set up the taxes and duties and so on. Now, if it is a case that you are selling digital products, all you'll need to do, you are going to go back right here and you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on add apps. After selecting add apps, I want you to tap on Shopify app store. After selecting Shopify App Store, you're going to tap on the search bar and you're going to type in digital and you'll see the option digital downloads. After doing this, you can see that there are numerous apps that you can use. So there are numerous apps that offer a free plan. 
so whether you like to use big digital download products or this one you can see that there are numerous options one that i've used in the past is this one by the name of file monk so you could select this one for example and with this one you can scroll down and you can see the different features so you'll be able to sell any file type and unlimited downloads automatical email delivery you can add your brand and you can upload up to 250 mb and you can receive up to 30 orders per month on their free plan so this definitely is a good option to get started and then in the future you can go on to one of their paid plan once you start getting more sales so you would tap on install right here after selecting install you'll tap on install once more then you are going to be redirected to the app dashboard once on the app dashboard you'll be able to start setting up how your store will appear so we're just going to tap on get started right here after you have tapped on get started you're going to select free then you will simply tap on you'll simply scroll down and you're going to tap on subscribe after selecting subscribe all you'll need to do now you can tap on upload file and you'll be able to upload your first product so you can tap on upload file then you will tap right where you see upload files and you're going to tap on browse files then you can search for the digital product on your webs your sorry on your computer so let's say for example this one and we're going to tap on open then you'll tap on upload file once more and you can see that it has been added once the product has been added what you're going to do next you're going to go over to the top left hand corner and you're going to select products from here you're going to tap on add product in the top right hand corner and you're going to put in the digital product name so for example i'll just type in ebook and again you can add a description and you'll tap on upload media and this is where you would add the ebook cover after you have added the ebook cover you will scroll down and you're going to add the price after adding the price you can untick or tick charge tax on this product and we're going to untick track quantity since this is not a physical product and you're going to untick this is a physical product so you want to untick that after clicking save you're going to go back into the app that we had installed earlier so you're going to select apps from the left hand menu option then you're going to select file monk after selecting file monk you're going to tap right where you see link file to product so you're going to tap right there after doing that you can tap where you see add product and you're going to select the product so we'll select the ebook you're going to tap on link file and you're going to select the product that we had installed earlier so we're going to tap on link to product and you can see file has now been linked so you can see right there so once it has been linked if we were to go over to the left hand menu option from there you can tap on file monk once more after you have tapped on file monk you can see that the product has now been linked all you will need to do you can tap on send download links to customer so we'll tap right there and you're going to set up the email delivery after tapping there you can see process digital orders is turned on and you can also turn on send email you could tap on turn on right there now that it is turned on customers will receive an email once they have completed their purchase you can also customize the email template by tapping on customize email template and that's basically it so now whenever someone goes onto your store they'll be able to make a purchase of either your digital or physical product and then you'll be able to start making some money as you can see right here hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button